Hi, this is Asim. This is Sujoy. This is Amrita. And you're listening to Khandan, a Bollywood podcast about the three main Khans of the Hindi film industry. Amir, Salman, and Shara. Hi, you're listening to Khandan, a Bollywood podcast regular feed. Thank you so much for your support over the years. We now have a Patreon channel with bonus content and exclusive merch for those of you who would like to support us. Every dollar goes towards creating more and better content. Visit us at patreon.com slash Khandan podcast. Hi and welcome to a new episode of Khandan podcast. My name is Asim J- Bernie and Asim Journey. Why am I calling myself <laughs> Asim Journey? <laughs> Life is a journey. My name is Bernie. <laughs> <laughs> Salman Khan writing poetry. <laughs> oh god. I'm joined by my co-host Sujoy. Hi, yes, Sujoy. <laughs> and we're joined by our top friend Beth. Top friend is back. Hey Beth. Up friends unite. <laughs> <laughs> um we Amrita could not join us this week again everybody on the internet send her a big hug um and, but she will be back soon uh, inshallah uh, but Beth thank you for joining us thank you for filling in I am always happy to be here whether Amrita is here or not that's how much I like it like I don't even need her here I'll be your substitute Amrita <laughs> <laughs> um and now we need to call you half of the filmy ladies right Beth that's your official title now That's right <laughs> That's the official. Yeah, I'm I'm half of a new-ish podcast with your uh, another of your frequent guests, Pitu Sultan. Um, she, you know, back in the spring said, "I need, I want to do a podcast. I need something fun to do." And I said, "That sounds great." So, we've we're on episode the I don't know twelve or wow. something like that. Um, Feel me, ladies, and we're having a lot of fun. And I'm sure we'll get you on sooner or later. We've had Amrita on, which I know she's mentioned here, and yeah, we're just having a lot of fun. And mostly, we try to look at. Uh, films that have something interesting to say about women or with women, but not solely because we've already had one whole episode devoted to Shah Rukh. Yeah. So, you know, <laughs> we're not I was too just, picky. I was just watching your episode on, and it's a video podcast, right? So it's available on YouTube too. Yeah, it's on YouTube and then Apple and Spotify. Yeah, and all so that I was just, I was watching your uh, uh, Vamps episode. I think that's the most recent one, right? It was uh, again a lot of fun. Yes, yeah. Uh, I could have guessed which Vamp P two was before you even started that game. I knew hundred <laughs> percent. Of course, she was. So you've not seen it, right? No, not that episode. Yeah. No. So which Vamp do you think P two is like? So which were the options? Beth was uh, Helen. Oh, you could uh, you could choose any, but yeah, we did tend to go for the big name. So I asked I asked her what vamp, you know, which vamp are mm-hmm. you, which actress? Um, who do you think she said? Uh, Bindu. <laughs> yes. All the money. Correct. All the money. <laughs> <laughs> because I I, uh, I while I was watching. Uh, Oh, Monica, oh my darling! I, after that, I just listened to the Kati Patang song "Mera Naam Hai Shabnam," and that has Bindu, right? And uh, I was like, "Yeah, this is a very Pitu song." Just like minutes ago, <laughs> like, that's the first memory. Like, oh, from the top of my head, I just like, yeah, Bindu for sure. <laughs> we we know her so well, and yeah. we, we're so happy that you yeah. guys have come together to do film me, ladies. I've watched, I've not been able to watch all episodes, <laughs> but uh, the ones I've watched, I've really uh, enjoyed. So I'm glad you guys yeah. are doing it. You know, we had this we had this plan that we were going to try to aim for 25 minutes or half an hour per episode, yeah. Yeah. and every single one of them is blowing right past yeah. that. That's that's the same Khandan problem we keep having, right? Like everybody <laughs> recommends us. Could you do shorter episodes, and we'll like full motive. We'll try, we'll try, and then it's like 90 minutes. <laughs> I mean, you you don't really count the time when you're having fun hanging out with good friends, right? right. That's the reason. That's exactly yeah. the reason. No, I set. I actually set a timer for 25 minutes and then I put mm-hmm. it in the chat when we hit it and we're like, nah, <laughs> keep going. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I especially enjoy the Jane Austen uh, episode. Uh, for, ha, that yeah. was fun. Was that the one with Damrita? Or yeah, 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 yeah. It was right. Yeah. There. Good. You know, I was I was wondering if with the name Filmy Ladies, we would be excluded, me and Sujoy, so I'm happy to hear that we will be invited. No. No, you will certainly come on. We'll have to find something 
um, something that has a nice overlap of all of our interests. But, you know, with thousands of movies to choose from, that should not be hard. Right, 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 right. So two things I want to talk about. First of all, I wanted to thank thank Parish last episode for coming on the Three Idiots podcast. Um, I know he got a bit of pushback, so I'm sorry. I thought, you know, people would be nicer. But, uh, you know, so, uh, Parish is like a, you know, like a strong cheese. He's an acquired flavor, you know. <laughs> it takes a while. But uh, we love him and thanks for coming on. It, uh, um, I, th- I thought we had a great discussion, although we didn't all agree, but I thought it was nice to have him on for sure. Second thing I wanted to talk about this, we've kind of, we're doing like a season this episode. Uh, like these next few months, we're going to kind of get into a season of remakes. So uh, we're going to be watching the original movie and then we're going to watch the Khan version of it. And last week, so this episode is kind of the start. Beth is on. We're doing the original Dawn, Amitabh's um, uh, uh, 1978. Uh, it's 78, right? That movie? Yeah. Yeah. Dawn. Yeah. And then next week, next episode, we're going to be doing Shah Rukh's version. And kind of in a, to kind of whet the appetite, we uploaded an old episode of Dawn 2 that we did last week because we couldn't record. So that's kind of what we're doing. And then we're going to do a Shah, uh, Salman movie. That's a remake. And then we're going to do a, an Amir movie. Uh, that's a remake. And then yeah. after that, it's going to be kind of the end of the year. So we're probably going to be doing our best of uh, episode. And probably Beth will ask you and loop you in to give some contribution there. Let's see how it goes. Yeah. Let's get into the stuff we've been watching a little bit. Um, two new trailers or teasers dropped, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, people have been waiting. We have been waiting. We want, We need to talk about Pathan, right? That's yeah. the first one. क्या जानते हो तुम पठान के बारे में तीन साल से उसकी कोई खबर नहीं है अपने लास्ट मिशन में वो पकड़ा गया सुना है बहुत टॉर्चर किया उसे पता नहीं कि पठान मर गया है या जिंदा है <laughs> Let's let's go with Beth. I will, actually, Beth, I haven't even heard your thoughts on <laughs> Patan's teaser. Oh, this is this is something that I wouldn't care about if Shah Rukh wasn't mm. in it. Um, but that's a that's a huge caveat, <laughs> as we all know. So I'm I've watched it a couple of times. I think it will be totally fun. This is a different version of him than we've seen before, and I love it when he does something we haven't seen him do before. So I'm definitely in, but. Yeah, like I, if this were basically anyone else in his role, I might go watch it, but I wouldn't care particularly. Yeah, yeah. So this is like strong, not for Beth vibes. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> and Beth famously has a mini Shahrukh. Yeah, I do. He's actually right. He's right here helping. Record, so yeah, he he is slightly more excited about it than I am. Yeah. So. Okay. <laughs> but just also like Beth, like seeing Shahrukh back on screen. How does that feel? Absolutely. Like- Yes, that does that does feel really, really exciting because it's been oh so long. And obviously COVID has mm. thrown off what time means and everything. So I would have to really stop and think about when I last saw him in the big screen. Yeah. Um, but I, I will definitely be ready. It's on my calendar. I'm gathering people to go. Like it's it's yeah. it'll be fun. And it's always fun to see a big new release on the big screen anyway. Like I'm still enough of a I don't know, like a bumpkin who loves to go to the movies that I, <laughs> I really love the cinema experience. And I think this will bring a good crowd, even, you know, even where I live and um, it'll be yeah, a lot of I fun. Saw, um, I saw Black Panther Wakanda forever yesterday. Yeah. Uh, oh. And it was like, I've not been in a truly packed audience since I don't even remember, like it's been years, you know, like every seat was sold out. And it was like, mm. on the one hand, I'm uncomfortable because, you know, COVID has, you know, traumatized me to be around yeah. people. But on the other hand, it's, it is, it, it does give you that movie magic that you haven't, you know, that feeling hasn't yeah. been there in ages, you know? So, yeah. Um, so I hope Patan does the same. Let's see. So Joy, yeah. what about you? You're super excited for Patan. I'm right? super excited. I've been watching this trailer on repeat just to pump me up for this episode. You know, mm-hmm. it really works as <laughs> like an adrenaline shot. I think the trailer is really cut well. And I think whatever, you know, expectations you had from the uh, a movie that is supposedly going to be the return vehicle of Shah Rukh Khan back into the movies in Yashraj movie, into the spy universe, supposedly sharing screen space with Bhai and Rithik from War uh, or Tiger. Uh, and uh, Kabir, um, 
yeah, all of those expectations. I think the trailer delivered on it. It's cut really well. The music is bang on. Like it sort of has that. Uh, if you remember the first trailer of Blue when it came out, you know the movie that tanked with Sanjay Dutt and Zayed Khan and oh, oh, you know, what a comparison! <laughs> but that that that, that trailer had yeah. that energy as yeah, well, yeah, right? Yeah. And it it was a banger trailer Oof. and sort of you know reminded me of that. But um, yeah, I'm so so excited to see like that uh, initial. Um, bit where they have that action scene looks like the first action sh- scene where we get his reveal as such mm-hmm. and the the way it's framed the action scene that is shot with the sharp edits and the gun and him saying you know tiger um patan mar gaya yeah and then he says zinda hai yeah. oh like city mar paisa vasool all of that it's yeah. like really really great yeah it's it's just so good to see him back on screen. Yeah. Like I, I get emotional. Yeah. Just the thought of it makes me emotional. You know, <laughs> um, yeah. we've Aww. really really missed him. You know, and uh, yeah. so happy to be back. I love that the trailer gives us a meta kind of thing that you know we haven't seen him for three years or four yeah. years and was he almost dead but That's he's coming true. back it's kind of talking about you know his career like a lot of people have kind of just written him off after the last few movies flopped and I think even he kind of you know went back into Mannat and was kind of licking his wounds a little bit like figuring mm-hmm. out what he wants to do and I think I like the fact that he seems to have not listened to anybody and not gone into streaming, not made like a thoughtful movie with Tabo, mm. you know, like that kind of thing. Yeah. He's just like, yes, Raj, <laughs> action, get me Deepika. I'm going to get abs and that's what you're getting. And we're all excited, yeah. you know, I, I love it. I was just going to say, I like how none of us have mentioned that John Abraham. No, is also I was just about movie. to. <laughs> Nobody cares. Nobody cares. <laughs> I think that's inspired casting, though, because I think where John's career yeah. is going, uh, yeah. he's back to where it started with Doom, Doom in right, the Yashraj right, right, right. movie. Uh-huh. And also, like, uh, I've always said this when it comes to action movies like this, the hero is only going to be as bad as, uh, as how strong the villain is. Yeah. And John is a towering presence over Shah Rukh, So it will be interesting to see that dynamic of how a shorter hero can beat up John yeah. in, in a way. So that will be interesting. And I think John's career is much better suited for roles like this than whatever he's been yeah. doing for the last couple of years. Yeah. Uh, I mean, is, is he the new, because there was that little spell where Arjun Rampal was mm-hmm. doing this with Shah Rukh and he's just gone apparently. Yeah. But I, this oddly made me miss Arjun Rampal, which is not a feeling I ever thought <laughs> I would have. But, but I mean, they're kind of the same guy, so it doesn't really matter. I'll, I'll call my contacts at YRF for to give uh, Arjun a cameo in this. Jet Beth. Is that okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Yeah, no, I, I, I agree with you. I think he's, uh, he's like his physicality is what he's bringing, and I think he, mm-hmm. he's probably going to make a good villain. And also, I want to shout out whoever Shah Rukh's stunt double is because mm-hmm. that high kick that he's delivering yeah. is amazing. And uh, I, I mean, Shah Rukh is, you know, almost bordering 60. There's no level of Pilates that can get your head kick that high. Yeah. Um, so, whoever <laughs> that is, love it. And especially because. Uh, Shah Rukh has that long floppy hair so it can really hide the face of the body double so uh, well yeah. done well done on that <laughs> uh, Deepika looks amazing I don't know what kind of role she'll be having but again also just happy to see Deepika in a in a kind of a glam kind of role you know I'm like, but not just glam she I think like from the looks of it with that sleek hair uh, I think she looks like in a femme fatale kind of a role who has higher stakes in the movie rather than just being you know eye candy as such in yeah. movies like this uh, yeah I don't think Shah Rukh would get her as eye candy necessarily mm-hmm. and I don't think Deepika is at the state in her career where she would take an eye candy role yeah. but I think it's what we had hoped for her in the triple X movie right yeah. Um, and I think mm. they're probably delivering it here. Mm. Um, I do have to say still, I'm still not so sold, sold on Siddharth Anand as a director. Yeah. I think War was great. I had a great time with it. But I've seen more bad movies of his than good movies. So, mm. yeah, um, I'm, I'm still kind of like worried that he might not screw the pooch there. But uh, yeah, the tra- yeah. Teaser's, the teaser looks good, though. Um, are you going to like, you know, my theory about I watch the teaser. I don't watch the trailer anymore. Mm. Uh, but it's Shah Rukh, mm. so I don't know. 
<laughs> My I'm watching everything. I'm watching everything that yeah. comes out of the Pathan camp, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Every interview, every sound bite, everything. I'm just, yeah. Oh, I'm all in for that. <laughs> like, uh, especially, you know, we've already said about, you know, it doesn't matter what kind of a movie Shah Rukh makes, the pre-release uh, publicity rounds that he does is more insightful than anything else that comes out of the industry. Yeah. And... Sh- should Sujoy, is this confirmed that uh, Rithik and Salman are going to be in this? Or is this just a um, Yeah, th- there might be a Tiger cameo because this is releasing in January and Tiger comes out in December mm. for YRF. So I think that will be the thing. Uh, I'm not sure about the Rithik cameo. It's not confirmed. It's all conjecture at this right, point. Right, right. But, but they are... It make, makes sense, yeah. They are working towards kind of a shared universe, right? Yeah, 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 like, for yeah, sure. Yeah. And also, like, the cinematography of this is done by a guy called Sachit Polos. I'm not sure if I'm uh, pronouncing his name correctly, but he's done war... Uh, as well as like several uh, car commercials <laughs> and music videos, <laughs> which <laughs> like he's up for the job. Yeah, same, 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 same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, we're gonna we're looking forward to it. We're excited. We're hyped, and we'll be covering our Khandan podcast when you know it comes out end of January, I think. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh, action seems to be the thing, right? So there's another trailer that dropped uh, an action hero. which is actually coming out next week, uh, next month already, quite quick. Um, so this is... Turn around, with, yeah. Yeah, with Ayushman Khurana and Palawat, right? Yeah. Yeah, Jadi, and Jadi Palawat. I mean, we had this discussion briefly on Twitter, but it looked very different for an Ayushman movie to be, you know, doing this. I, I guess this is his um, fan, <laughs> in a way, uh, mm-hmm. him dealing with fandom as a um, as a movie star, and then the repercussions of his actions, uh, almost, and then uh, it looks very action packed, uh, as the name suggests. And I'm quite uh, weirdly excited about this movie. I'm not sure if the trailer sold the movie for me to buy a ticket and you know go straight to the cinema, but I'll definitely be more than willing to check it out when it drops on streaming. But again, it depends. Like, uh, if if the the hype and the reviews are good enough, I'm probably going to. Yeah, well, Beth, we were we were talking about you know we were talking about the release schedule of what movies are coming out and things like that, and mm-hmm. we saw this one, and we had the trailer hadn't dropped then, and we like immediately dismissed it. It was like, who's who's interested for an Ayushman Kurana movie? <laughs> but then the trailer dropped, and I think there seems to be some buzz yeah. about this. What what did you think about this trailer? Oh, I, I'm very interested. I, I mean, I think I'd be interested even if it wasn't him, but because it is so different from him, uh, for him, I think I'd like to see that. Like, I I I like his movies. I like the formula that he's been in. I know that, it, that he is not popular among all, <laughs> um, but I'm glad to see him do something different because I think he could, I think this could be really good for him. And I think it will just be interesting to see him, you know, mix it up a little bit um and i like i like a meta a film meta film Mm -hmm. you know so yeah i'll definitely i will definitely go to the cinema for this it looks interesting yeah we got the only buzz that i heard even before the trailer uh, was revealed was that akshay kumar was involved he was probably having a cameo in this movie and that was the big selling point that they were pushing it with so that kind of did not sell the movie for me, you know. <laughs> if I, no, that's not a yeah. selling point. <laughs> not anymore in 2022. No. So I we posted this on our Patreon and we got a few comments. So I wanted to read them. So um, Devansh said, uh, looks good. I hope they don't make it too complicated and messy. Mm. Our uh, friend of the show, mm. Paresh, said, nah, this looks too tongue-in-cheek type for me. Uh, friend of the show, Nim, said, I'm really looking forward to this. Both Jaydeep and Ayushman looked amazing and they didn't give anything away about the story. And Viral said, I don't know if this is much different if he's just showing how hard an actor's life is or how popularity depends on circumstances, how things are going to go south with living two different lives and being a youth icon. But let's see. Hope you're right, Asim Bhai. I'm just adding 
that part because I just love hearing that I'm right. Um, but I mean, I I'm rarely excited for Ayushman movies. I I do think his movies are way too up his own ass for me, um, mm. and it it it's grading. It's it's grating for me, um, and I. I, I do feel it's trying to do what uh, Fan did with, uh, you know, uh, Shah Rukh's movies. And this is supposed to be, you know, like Akshay movies, I guess, or Tiger Shroff movies. Mm. But, like, I th- I just think, like, you know, I, it's his j- genre to do, like, m- take a twist on it. And I wish he'd just do something straight without doing, like, a twist on it, without, you know, being, like highfalutin about it and just like make an action movie if you want to make an action movie you know like why does it need to be like this complicated mm. like revision and like oh we're gonna reimagine it and do this and other point of view but i mean it works for other people and i don't i'm, I'm not gonna say that um uh, he needed to do something a little bit different but i don't for, for me it's not different enough it's just the same thing but in mm. another uh, in another uh, uh, genre, you know, like it is the same as Dream Girl or the same as Vicky Donor, but now it's an action movie. You know, uh, I really liked Article Fifteen, which was just a straight yeah. uh, thriller. You know, that's what I, yeah. I I would like him to do. Or an Andhatun, where yeah, he's straight. Yeah, whatever. Oh yeah, so good. Those movies are the ones I've liked the most, but this doesn't seem to be that one. Uh, I'm really excited for Jadeep and his line delivery. I thought it was amazing that one line he had, like, you don't know anybody, like, you don't know why anybody's here, you know, that kind of thing. Mm. Uh, I thought that was really well mm-hmm. done. Um, so, but yeah, uh, I'm, I'm going to be watching it for sure. I, uh, and it's also, I think, it's going to come out on Netflix too. So I don't know. I'll, I'll probably, maybe if if Sujoy doesn't drag me to the cinema, um <laughs> i'll uh maybe i'll wait and then watch it on netflix i'm not sure yet i'm not i'm not 100 not 100 sold on this one unfortunately okay yeah um and then uh <laughs> 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 so joy why is this on my list <laughs> Yeah, why? Why not? <laughs> because uh, variety is the spice of life, and Himesh <laughs> Rashamya is the spiciest of them all. <laughs> you intro this. I don't want anything to do with this. What are we talking about? <laughs> so, this is apparently a movie that is being made by Himesh Rashamya okay, Melodies. It is, a, is it a movie? Is this confirmed that this is a movie? <laughs> I don't know what is life even. <laughs> because it, it, what is butterfly? It, it does make you question the aspect of reality and existentialism. Because <laughs> it might just be like a campaign for noodles or like ch- churras yeah. or something like that. I'm not yeah. sure. Yet, yeah. I mean, the budget l- seems like it. You know, the green screen that is on display. Uh, I don't know what the hell is happening. It's apparently a spin-off of his previous movie. And then there is... So we are talking about a movie trailer <laughs> that dropped called Badass Ravi Kumar. Like Red flag straight away there that he himself calls himself, you know, Badass Ravi Kumar. <laughs> yeah. You know, if ah, I'll, exactly. I'll say it about myself. And, and the movie trailer has like these PowerPoint text <laughs> flashing in between and he's like it says he is back with his own spin off <laughs> <laughs> and and like dialogues that are so grating so funny and um, okay i have written this down because i could not believe this right he says tere sharir mein itna khoon nahi hoga jitna ravi kumar ek bar mein mood deta hai basically says your body does not have enough blood as much as uh, Ravi Kumar pisses it out <laughs> or something like that. Goodness gracious. I know. What does that even mean? Does he have a UTI? Yeah, I think he does, man. I think, does. <laughs> I think those hair yeah. implants have created some sort of viral infection in him that he needs to get sorted out, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. And then <sighs> there is a new song called Butterfly Titliya that came out for the promotion of this song, which is, you know... Usually, T series movies have Nora Fatehi or uh, Sunny Leone doing like the duties of promoting the song with a great item number. But here it's Himesh yeah. Reshamia doing everything. He is like the amalgamation of Tommy Waizu and Gurmeet Ram Rahim Singh. <laughs> you know, <laughs> uh, written, directed, <laughs> edited, story, music, everything by Himesh Reshamia. Nobody else matters. He is the badass Ravi Kumar, if you hadn't you know, gotten the clue by now. 
Also, this is not the spin-off of Curse, right? This is the spin-off of his ex- expose movie, expose. which was set in the 30s, right? Or in the 20s? I guess. Who who saw that movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. Oh, Beth, I... what did you think of this? What Whatever this was. So I didn't. I, I watched the song, not the trailer, uh, not on purpose, just because I clicked on something. Um, I, I don't know who needs this. This is <laughs> sorry to be speechless on, a, on the audio medium of podcast, but I just I don't I, I don't know as much as some things may not be for me. This is really not for me, but I don't <laughs> like so I, so I had to Google. I was like, what's going on with this? And there's a very funny piece in the Indian Express that says, um, his threat of making an acting comeback seems real, <laughs> which is great. And because I guess because I'm ancient, apparently I, I had to turn here to learn that his, um, I don't know, on Instagram, he's very popular among Gen Z. Wow. <laughs> and I was like, Oh, that's why he's doing a thing. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> so if he thinks he can ironically, or maybe unironically knowing Gen Z, uh, reach the youth, then I guess I salute him for not, you know, for trying, but I don't, this isn't going to have ironic appeal to me. And therefore I will not be engaging (laughs) with this, but I just, you know, when was it that he was everywhere? It was like 2004 or something or 2007. Yeah. Yeah, Somewhere. Do you remember that song up Kikatir that he did? Like I, that I can't read his name without hearing his super nasally voice, just like punching through the atmosphere in that song. And I, I've never liked his voice. I don't care about the things that he writes. Like I, no, I will. I will not be engaging in this. But you know, if you are, but it does kind of raise the question: if you are an aging movie industry person, and you don't seem to be landing with the same success that you used to, what are your options? And one of them is try to make yourself an ironic, ironically popular. Mm-hmm. I okay. don't think he like sees the irony, be... though. He's definitely surrounded no, by so he's surrounded yeah. by yes men who are totally on yeah. it. You know, yes, by yes, by let's do this. Yeah. Yes, by you are badass. Yeah. But, but Sujoy, you watch a lot of the the judging reality competitions. He's very yes. big there, right? Like he's very a, very popular. Yeah. Very very popular. Yeah. So what kind of like I've never literally never watched them, so I don't know. Like, what is he like a Simon Cowell kind of thing? I just see him constantly crying about how good somebody sang his own. Song. Yeah, he's not a Simon Cowell kind of a personality. He's very like his own brand. He is out of this world, larger than life, very emotional, very vocal about things, and then like he's a yeah, he's a weird concoction man. There is no Western in- equivalent or any Indian equivalent even. He's Himesh <laughs> Roshamia. He's badass Ravi Kumar. <laughs> He's very, very... Should we not comment? I don't know. Should we not comment on what people do to their faces with chemicals and other things? I don't know. But he... He's older than I am, and he does not look. No. It. <laughs> like he's very, he's very smooth and taut. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what he's investing in. But, uh, he's um, investing in South Korean trips. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Did Got you guys it. watch that little video that that uh, musician on Twitter did? I think his name was Anshuman Sharma. How to make Rish- H- Himesh Rishimiya song in two minutes? No, I haven't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll send it to you guys. I'll link it in the show notes. It's hilarious because yeah. it's so accurate. It's crazy. And the irony of him dropping that video a week ago and then literally... Himesh Rishamiya uh, dropping an actual song that's exactly like what the guy had. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's like we, we, we don't live in reality anymore. It's insane. Yeah, I was talking about Twitter on, on Twitter about the Butterfly Titliya song with a, a, a friend of ours, a Santosh. And, um, you know, the, the, the percussion and the whole sequence that is in this song, it does sound like other Himesh Rishamiya songs, yeah. be it like Bodyguard or oh, yeah. Chalao Na Neno Se Banare or uh, Jumme Ki Raat Hai from Kick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this, yeah, I mean, it's this is probably not, it's definitely not going to be for me. I've I actually never watched the Himesh Rishamiya movie, not, not the first one with the cap, not the Kurz, not anything. Mm-hmm. So... Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I brought memories back on oh, the I haven't couch. either. I've never I've never seen a whole I've never seen yeah. a film of his. Yeah. I, I just remember because the first one with the cap was really creepy because his actress was like fifteen years old or sixteen years old, something like that. Yeah. It was really creepy. Yeah. So it's this is not gonna be for me. Um so Joy, you keep us posted on how this goes, yeah. No, no, I'm definitely not gonna watch this movie <laughs> oh, for <okay>. sure. <laughs> I, I just, you know, get some glee out of watching two minutes of Himesh Rashamiya on my timeline. That's all that's all I can handle. I, I will 
I mean, now that you're saying this, I feel like if this came out at a time where we were all together and we could all go mm. and have a goofball time at the cinema, I would do that. Like how we keep <clears throat> we keep threatening to have a race three watch along <laughs> on Twitter before it implodes. Like it has that. I might so bad it's yeah. good watch this film, but. Other than that, no. Yeah, with the accompanying drinking game associated, I suppose. Exactly, yeah. exactly. But Beth, you are coming to London, right? So we have to do I a watch along or London. something, right? Absolutely. We will be planning. We will let people know when, the, when it's happening. Around April-ish, something like that, right? Yeah. yeah. Tentative yeah. date. Let's see. Um, yeah, <laughs> this uh, this is not for me. But, uh, you know, one thing, though, I just, like, he is one of the top five, top ten Indian composers, right? Like in terms of popularity. Uh-huh. I just wish he made better mu- music, Probably. you know, at least deliver like a Chunaria song or an Ornish song or something, you know, like. Yeah. I, but even that doesn't happen. I think anymore. peak Himesh Roshamia has definitely faded since like Tere Nam. I think that was the peak of it or some bits of uh, Hello Brother even or um, Pyar Kya To Darna Kya. Yeah. But, well, I mean, I'm sure it's still in him, though. But uh, yeah, yeah, this is not it. Not, it's, at least it's not it for me, and I'm not Gen Z, you know. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just not the right, right audience. Uh, yeah. Um, one movie came out um, that we wanted to quickly talk about, and unfortunately, I'm gutted I could not finish watching the movie because I only mm-hmm. got 30 minutes into Monica, oh my darling, um, and. I really, really enjoyed the first 30 minutes uh-huh. and I just ran out of time before we started recording. But Beth and Sujo, you did get a chance to finish the whole yes. thing, right? Yes. Yeah. Who wants yeah. to go first? Sujo, okay. you go. Um, I think I really enjoyed uh, uh, Monica, oh my darling, more than Vasan Bala, who is the director of this movie. His first movie that came out a couple of years back called Mert Ko Dard Nahi Hota, which is... Um, almost like a homage to action hero movies from Hong Kong and so and so forth made into an Indian superhero kind of a format. And this kind of takes or uh, pays similar homage to, um, you know, Vijay Anand or, uh, the Dev Anand murder mysteries like Johnny Meranam or Jewel Thief and Tisri Manzil, um, all those kind of era of movies that came out uh, in the sixties. Um, and set it in modern times, I suppose, with um, great actors, great cast. Uh, and it's based on a Japanese thriller novel. Um, but all said and done, I think it really did not come together enough for me. It still has that um, imperfectness of a fan fiction rather than a, a polished product like uh, like the movies that is trying to pay homage to. It definitely pays homage to a lot of influences from, you know, Avijay Anand to even Sriram Raghavan. It has direct a, a Easter eggs to Johnny Gaddar and it's trying to make that Johnny Gaddar, but it somehow towards the end, it like especially towards the third act, it lost steam for me. And you have to really end strong with a movie like this. And I thought it lacked that punch at the end of it. I really love the performances, but at the end of it, it just didn't hit quite right. Mm. Okay. Uh, Beth, what about you? Oh, I loved the heck oh. out of this movie. Um, I, I had not even heard mm-hmm. of it until you mentioned watching it for the podcast. So I, Again, I have no idea what Netflix is doing because I log into Netflix every week, right? Like, why did it not tell me about yeah, this? Yeah, it's crazy, right? But, yeah, um, I had to search for it even. Yeah, yeah, and like, I follow the director on Twitter. Like, I don't know why I didn't I didn't know. I've got to do something. I think I've said this before when I'm on your show. Like, I've got to figure out a way to find out about new films in a more reliable <laughs> way. But I loved everything about this. It's super stylish. The performances are great. I had just on the vamps episode of filmy ladies <laughs> said we were talking about who nowadays would be a good vamp. And I had said, Huma yeah. Qureshi, not knowing this movie existed. And then I was like, Oh, <laughs> cool. I manifested a great role for Huma Qureshi. I'm very proud of myself. Um, she, I thought she was wonderful. She's so sultry and interesting. Everyone is, I mean, I, I I'm very easy to fool. So all the twists and turns worked well for me. We'll keep this spoiler free. I assume, especially cause awesome hasn't seen it, but I, I did not see any of what was coming. Coming, I had pegged someone totally wrong for some of the crimes in the mm-hmm. film. Like, I, I enjoyed everything about it. I, uh, you know, Rajkumar Rao is 
he is such a strong actor and yet also kind of a blank mm, slate in yeah. a way that I find yeah. really interesting because there was something about how he was performing this. I kept thinking about, is there someone else we could have put in this role? And it sometimes I thought, yeah, absolutely. Anyone could do what he's doing. And I thought, no, no one could do what he's doing because he is so adaptable to whatever you put him in. Like I've, I've seen him in movies that I didn't think were good choices for him, but that's never his, it's never because of him. And he does so many, you know, he does so many different kinds of things. I'm so glad he was in this. Yeah. I loved absolutely everything about it. And I, I plan to watch it again once I can, hmm. you know, forget a few of the uh-huh. details about it. Um, I, I strongly encourage anyone who's, who hasn't seen it to definitely, what is it? Two hours long. Mm. It's not, it's not super yeah. long. Like, clear your schedule tonight and go watch it so here's the thing i watched the movie i finished the movie and i quite enjoyed it but as i said the climax totally threw me away uh, it kind of i sort of mm-hmm. you know dissociated with the movie because it did not land that punch at the end like it did not really end well for me but then i watched the sort of the crew and cast uh, um, interview on film companion with vasan and radhika and uh, um What's his face? Uh, Rajkumar Rao, Sikandar Kher, and Huma Qureshi as well. And uh, I think uh, Zain Marie Khan, who plays Sarika in the movie. Um, and then, like, I, what I got out of that interview makes me retrospectively like the movie more about because I understand the process of what went into the making and all the little details and how much they struggled to make it. And, you know, it, this was uh, like a second lockdown when they started making the movie. So I appreciated it even more about, you know, how they eventually even th- during that period, mm-hmm. they finally managed to put out a movie of this caliber. But uh, the movie independently did not, I expected more because I love this genre and I, they were, you know, constantly reminded me of Sriram Raghavan's Johnny Gadar and that's a way superior movie, I think. So I don't know if I should be comparing. Is it my fault as an audience? Uh, but like my instinctive like uh, feeling after watching this movie was I expected a little more. And I think that's also the kind of feeling I had with Mart Kudard. But um, I definitely like this way more than Mart Kudard Nihota. Oh, you didn't like Mart Kudard Nihota? Mm, not so much, no. Oh, wow. I love that one. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I, I think that, I mean, Hindi cinema makes so few noir mm-hmm. films, and I, I think you could probably count this as noir, that for those of us who like that, the expectations are, the hopes are so yeah. high whenever anyone does one. And it can be, you know, the, I'm so glad people are trying, even if it's not everything that everyone wants, because, you know, just diversifying the types of movies made is great it provides all these interesting actors more interesting things to do like the set design in this was so good like people making these really atmospheric spaces like the music was wonderful Mm. uh yeah uh, regarding the music as well like what was mentioned in the interview was uh, they really wanted the asha bhosle feel so they did not uh, yeah. re-record somebody uh, like did not make Asha G remix or something they just picked somebody who sings at orchestra nights uh, just sings Asha Bhosle songs throughout their career they oh, picked wow. her to sing the Ye Zindagi song which uh, Huma is introduced by and then somebody who sings Hemant Kumar song or Bupinder songs uh, on orchestra nights he sings the other song in this movie which is kind of like a slow ghazal number it's such a brilliant way to bring back nostalgia but record it in a such a pristine you know modern sound mm. um yeah i re- enjoyed so smart. yeah enjoy the heck out of the music how it was used especially obviously mm. monica oh my darling is my is used here and they did not have a remix version of it they just let the original song play out and nobody's dancing to it either yeah yeah the thing that uh, um, turned me off a little bit of this movie because it's like catnip for Indian film Twitter. Mm-hmm. And that's like an immediate no yeah. for me uh, <laughs> because, you know, like it's just not my genre of thing. But I I just really, really like Huma Qureshi. And I, I was talking about this when we were doing the, talking quickly about the double XL trailer mm-hmm. um, that I really want good things to happen. And then like Beth, I think I manifested this for her um, because before that <laughs> she was fighting Akshay Kumar in a bathroom, you know, that's the last thing I saw with her. Yeah. And uh, so this is much, much better. And just like as a performer, it's so 
awesome that she has like back to back movies where in the mm. first movie nobody wants to bang her and then in the second movie everybody wants to bang her you know that's <laughs> range that's what we're talking about range as a performer you know yeah. um but uh the thing about rajkumar rao i do wonder like and i think this is beth you were talking about this about being the blank slate because i do think other people can do what he's doing like i think vicky koshal could very easily do what he's doing for example you know um mm. but does rajkumar rao actually like the character he plays like as a person like do does he connect that way and i think he just has a very different approach to how he picks his character and it's not maybe necessarily about likability or how he connects with them emotionally um I, there's some distance there and that's something that has kind of bothered me about him but i thought he plays a good douchebag though you know and I, the part i've seen is just oh, like yeah. he's just a douchebag in that first 30 40 minutes and mm-hmm. that part he does really really well a, a douche an arrogant douchebag who's actually totally loser you know that's the kind of character he plays yeah. um so and he does that really well <laughs> he's just a hustler from his early days he just wants to get out of to his angola circumstances and then he every single uh milestone he achieves he thinks that he's conquered it and then life pull, life pulls him down that's yeah. the crux of the story you know yeah. Yeah. the angola joke was funny though <laughs> it's funny. exotic <laughs> funny yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, the funniest was the um who hooks up with an accountant or something like that <laughs> That was so funny. That was funny. Yeah, that 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 part I did see. So like uh no, I I was waiting for my girl Radhika Apte to show up, but yeah. I, I unfortunately I'm probably going to finish it tonight or before you know Twitter ruins everything with screen caps and quotes and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, I mean, she's having a ball in this movie. I really really yeah. enjoyed her. Yeah. Uh, oh, like all performances, even yeah. Sikandar Kher who I thought would not be great, he absolutely delivers in that scene where he's like scheming yeah. out everything what happens 3 months in the future yeah. <laughs> amazing amazing scene and radhika apte is <laughs> such a a wild card in this like but yeah i do i won't i don't want to spoil but yeah never mind but i really enjoyed radhika's performance at least in the first uh, to uh, the the second i don't know which acts uh, I, i don't know how to uh, describe the segments of this movie but i really enjoyed pre climax yeah. radhika uh, let's get into um, our main review then na yeah ye log international smugglers aur in sab se zyada khatarnak aur mashhoor mujrim don don ka intezar to 11 mulkon ki police kar rahi hai lekin sonia don ko pakadna mushkil hi nahi अरे दीवानो मुझे पहचानो जरा पहचानो मैं हूँ डॉन मैं हूँ डॉन मैं हूँ डॉन मैं हूँ मैं हूँ मैं हूँ डॉन किकिंग ऑफ आर रीमेक सीजन दैट्स द वे आई वांट टू स्टार्ट दिस वी वाच्ड अमिताभ्स Dawn. Yeah, Beth, we we asked you, right? And we wanted to do something no- yeah. yeah, you you let me pick and I was like what about Salim Khan movies? Yeah. <laughs> because because uh most of you people listening will know that the 70s Hindi cinema is where my heart lives most of the time, so that's what I chose. Yeah, and <laughs> we also you and me we've been talking about to doing more like Amitabh coverage, right? Like doing an Amitabh sh- so Yeah, long, we've yeah. Been, we've been talking about this for years to be honest, but it's never materialized. Yeah. Yeah. But um so yeah, Uh, it, it kind of had both of those elements, and then we just added this idea of you know talking about Pathan and like like it's leading to Pathan, right? That's what the season will be. Although Pathan is not a remake, but like the Sharukness of it. So we wanted to kind of kick it off with Dawn, a movie that, and also we were talking about it, Sujay, a couple of episodes ago about you know um, Amitabh being 80 years old, and there's there was this whole celebration in India about screen, mm-hmm. stre- uh, screening his movies again, right? Yeah. What what was that part of was that a festival or what, what, what? Yeah it was um I think a PVR event where they like for a weekend or something they screened like Abhiman and Deewar and Kala Patthar and even Javed Akhtar and Shavana mm-hmm. Asmi they were involved in the screenings mm-hmm. and like fan if uh flock to the cinema to watch all these movies for the first time on a big screen like a whole new generation appreciated I think it was part of the celebration of Amitabh turning 80 yeah and also ucha is in trailer uh, in uh, in uh, theaters now and it's actually mm-hmm. getting pretty decent reviews i have to say yeah. um, i'm kind of keen to maybe i'm it's it's piqued my interest in a way 
and um also weirdly enough the soundtrack is actually pretty decent i was like i i was listening to this um uh, you know on apple uh, music they have these uh, cur- curated lists of new bollywood songs mm-hmm. and it just had three or four uh, unchai songs and i ended up listening to them and i was like ah, this is actually pretty good i i can't hate on this hmm. and weirdly enough it also had the butterfly titli on song on so actually i had see heard the song before you had sent it <laughs> So don't blame I, everything on me now. <laughs> yeah, I can't unfortunately I can't. Yeah. So um I don't know should we should we even do a synopsis? I feel everybody has seen the original Dawn, right? No. I mean, let's not should assume. I? So the IMDb synopsis of Dawn reads Dawn, a wanted criminal, dies in a police chase. DSP De Silva is the only one who knows about his death and to get hold of the gang he trains, Dawn look like Vijay. but vijay faces danger from the police and from within the gang that's a pretty good synopsis <laughs> yeah yeah that's very uh, brief yeah i um i was kind of like looking like this movie has like i i, I think i've told it this uh, there are at least a couple of pictures of me dressed like don <laughs> when i was not recent but when i was like 8 Aww. years old 7 years old when i was still cute um <laughs> with you know like a headband on my head and like acting like you know pai ke khai ke paan panaras wala and all that so this was a staple in my house um so Aww. but it's it's been so like i've watched this movie so many times and then i really didn't watch it that much it was really fun to revisit it so by yeah. best, thank you for choosing this one or agreeing to do this one Anytime. because there were a few other names that we <laughs> floated i was quite excited about those but i'm quite happy that we landed on dawn because it's one of those quintessential amitabh classic movies right um mm. Mm. i was also surprised to read about the director chandra barot mm-hmm. have you been did you kind of like research him a little bit when you were watching this yeah i mean he's been like in the 70s he was like the assistant director to manoj kumar movies like pura for paschim shor and roti kapra makan and then he then landed this gig f- to make dawn for salim javed who wrote the script but then he kind of disappeared until like he reappeared in the 90s and made really unsuccessful movies so i don't know where like where he's now yeah i think honestly yeah. he has had the worst luck ever mm-hmm. um like if you go to the imdb there's just tons and tons of l- movies that he wanted to make he had a cast ready and they all got dropped it's mm-hmm. insane i've never seen anybody have that many failed movies in a row and uh yeah mm. it just it, it just ended up being that he never got so he had Vo- boss with vinod khanna he had mm-hmm. kunda with shashi kapoor wow. um he had uh, uh titli, master titli with raj babar babar he had master he had time with chanki pande 20 rupees with nana patekar uh, all of these got dropped you know so you, and you can see with the names mm. i'm mentioning He mm. was really trying from the 80s to the 90s to the 2000s to make some movies and really nothing worked for him the poor guy. Yeah. Uh, and even when they were shooting this movie Dawn the producer died while they were shooting the movie which wow. is insane like this uh, <sighs> that they, they managed to pull this off is pretty pretty damn impressive. Uh, I mean we talked about the producer we talked and you mentioned it quickly but more than anybody else next to Amitabh this is a Salim Javed movie. This is what it's known for right? Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. And that's also probably why we picked this movie. And it's also interesting to see I mean Salim Javed for people that don't know our legendary writing team and then they kind of split ways and so I mean this is one of this is one of those classic angry young man changing Bollywood of what it was to something new and they managed to do that with so many movies and Dawn is one of those epic movies I guess, right? Um so yeah Beth how did you think about uh, what did you feel about revisiting Dawn after when was the last time you watched it I that I was trying to remember I'm sure it's been at least 10 years to have watched the yeah. whole thing I was so happy to sit down with this movie I love every freaking thing about <laughs> it it was such a delight from top to bottom it's clearly not very high no. budget nobody cares everyone's having fun everyone is cast beautifully the the like that guy aspect of this film is through the roof <laughs> it has i mean it has you know yusuf khan in it for for our khan content you know it has helen yeah. it has iftikhar it has um 
it has prawn. <laughs> oh my God. I've forgotten how great prawn is in oh. this and how the absolute audacity of casting an almost 60 year old prawn as a tiny <laughs> artist. <laughs> Putting him in that wig, putting him in like a puffy sleeve shirt embroidered with his initials with a white belt for the whole film, except when he's in jail, he is, he could not be any less obviously, no, more obviously, not walking on a tightrope in the scene where he's carrying <laughs> children and a cane across a tightrope. Nobody cares. They just lean into the artifice of this and it's majestic. Like everything about this movie is top notch absurd in the right ways fun in the right ways you know the keep away chase the keep away game with the book at the end of the yeah. film, where they're like throwing everyone who's still alive is fighting in a cemetery people are falling into <laughs> graves prawn quote unquote is doing flips around with his cane like monuments in the cemetery with his cane there's kids zinata man is there like every it's Zinat Amon, who's clearly not her. Her stunt double is doing a great job. Like everyone, everything about this is so much fun. And the music oh. could not be better. <laughs> what about you, sir? Oh, man. Like, you know, when a movie starts, we usually see the you know, the opening screen, like all characters in this movie are fictitious and bear no resemblance. <laughs> and this movie starts with Oh, mentioned to only the police characters. <laughs> it says all, all, all police characters and names in this film are fictitious. <laughs> they, we don't care about the other characters. They are definitely resembling people who are living or dead, you know? <laughs> and that's just an epic statement to start this movie. And then, you know, like you just mentioned Pran. Pran doesn't even show up until like 50 minute mark in the movie. There's so much happening with every single frame of this movie. The hero entry scene of this movie is stuff of legends. Like the oh. cold open car pulls in Amitabh's face reflecting in the rear view mirror of the car. What a frame, man. And and it just goes uphill from there. You know, it's just action, action, masala, masala. For for some movies, having an exploding briefcase in the <laughs> yeah. would be the highlight of the whole the climax of the whole film. This film opens with this yeah. amazing stunt, and it like you said, it just gets better from there. Mm -hmm. It's just um, like the stakes get higher and higher and higher, and then all these people that you you know, this is like a wave of nostalgia for me because all these people like Iftikhar, mm -hmm. Pran, Yusuf Khan, and like all of these are involved with my early days of watching cinema at home on my black and white TV. Mm -hmm. It just brings me back those memories. And this is such a great like whiff of nostalgia for people who enjoy the seventies and, and the, the peak era of um, Amitabh Bachchan. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy because we talk a lot about, you know, like, oh, Salman had a good year. Shah Rukh had a good year. Shall mm -hmm. I read you the movies that came out in 1978? Like the top 10, oh, right? Mm -hmm. It's probably the best year in Hindi cinema ever, according to me. <laughs> yes, Please because they're that. all Amitabh movies, best. <laughs> so <it's> like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> number one, Mukaddar Ka Sikandar. Number two, Tri Trishul. Uh. Number three, Dawn. <laughs> then you have a Dharmendra movie, Azad, La La La. Then you have Swarg Nar Narak from Sanjeev Kumar. Then you have back Amitabh with Kasme Vade. Then you have again Amitabh with Ganga Ki Saugand. Like it's all literally Amitabh movies. It's crazy. Like it's one after the other. Amitabh looks hot as hell. Why does okay, Beth? I'm not. I'm sure you're not gonna agree with this point, but this is my thing that I'm making. Why does everybody look amazing in <laughs> 70s clothing when it's Amitabh, but everybody else looks like a dork in those clothing? Like I don't know what it is. Oh, Except Helen. I, Except well, Helen. You have, well, it, I think you have to be tall. Yeah. I think that's the the trick, right? So the taller actors like Vinod Khanna and Shashi Kapoor is actually not short by any means. Yeah. Um, but yeah, those like wide leg pants, you, it helps to be tall. Yeah. I think it is. And I like you, he, I know this is an absurd statement to make. I love the seventies so much. And yet Amitabh is not the first person I think of most of the time. That's ridiculous because <laughs> as you're pointing out, he, absolutely owns at least the second half of that decade mm -hmm. but every time i see him in one of these films i just i just sit and think 
I get it. You I get, get it. why this is the most popular yeah. actor of yeah. all time, right? In Hindi cinema, like there's, there's, he's perfect. Yeah. He's absolutely perfect at everything. He can, he can do the. Should we call it dancing? Like uh, there is actual dancing mm-hmm. by him in this movie, but often heroes at this time still aren't really dancing as such. But he he does all of that song movement, for lack of a better word, so well. Mm-hmm. He does humor. He does action. He does romance. Like he can do everything perfectly well. Um, it's just it's astounding. It's astounding. And if you've never kind of engaged with this. Please do, because it's just, it's an absolute masterclass. He's, he's like wearing huge red bow ties. He's wearing yellow glasses. The turtlenecks are too bright. The shirts are too open. <laughs> Safari su- suit sales were skyrocketing. Oh, Judo yeah. and karate were oh, one yeah. sport. You know, it's like crazy. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then he does Vijay as well as the pan eating guy yeah. uh, who's dancing on the streets outside Gateway of India. Mm. He's selling that as well, you know, and not many yep. people can do that. Like when you... There, there is a scene in Luck by Chance where in the in the acting school when Sharab Shukla plays the acting coach and he's saying, you know, a Bollywood actor has to fight his two romance. He has to say, say the lines. He has to be a, a horse rider. He has to be a dancer. This is that movie he was referencing to and Amitabh <laughs> yeah. playing that. Yeah, you know? yeah. absolutely. And, and speaking, isn't that the same movie where, is that the movie where Mark yeah. Mahan gets yeah, 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 lines? Yeah, yeah. 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 So like anytime you get Mac Mohan named Mac, <laughs> that's a good sign, in my opinion. And this movie has that. I had I had I hadn't quite forgotten he was in this, but just to, every time he comes on screen, I just go, Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and we also have to say like how um probably different it was for just like the, the Dawn itself, right? Mm-hmm. Himself, he's a very unlikable character, right? Yeah. Like, although he's mm-hmm. very alpha, I mean, he's almost Andrew Tatian to a certain degree, right? Like it's like that level of alpha. Um, and he's like also like he gets killed in the first half of the movie. Like for Amitabh fans who don't know what this movie was about, like who he's playing, this must have been such a shock to go into the cinema and then have, mm-hmm. you know, Amitabh killed within the 30, 40 minutes and also just be a terrible, terrible human being. Um, like, th- because we, we, when we think about Amitabh, we have that idea of the angry young man, but this yeah. is not an angry young man. This is like just a douchebag. <laughs> like, this is like yeah. a totally different thing. Yeah. So yeah. it's, he's a bad man. He's a bad man. And that must have been such a shock for people, right? Like, like before. What's this? Sorry, go ahead, Beth. Oh, I was just I was just wondering if this film was advertised as having a double role, mm. because if it was, then obviously, you know, instantly what's going to happen. Yeah. Although not exactly how, like, you know, he's going to be a, a back again, but you would probably not guess that it's the way that it mm. is. Um so I'm curious if it was advertised. But did they such. even have trailers at that time, right? Like, I mean, not like obviously they had trailers, but you would only see a trailer if you go watch another movie, right? Like, you would yeah. not, they would not be on television. You would probably just get a poster. That's how you probably go. So I imagine it must have been a surprise for people, right? They, yeah. it's not like trailers today that spoil pretty much everything. So yeah, it must what, have been. What, such a- what I was pointing out was when you guys said that you know Dawn is the bad guy in the first uh, half of the movie and like the whole concept of the angry young man and then that to spin it around its own head and to make him the anti-hero mm. the whole concept of mm. the anti-hero which m- became popular in the 90s with Shah Rukh or even Sanjay that playing Khal Nayak was born here yeah this is the genesis of that in in yeah. terms of Bollywood cinema because I really can't think of anybody doing it this way, being such a popular hero. Mm-hmm. I mean, obviously, you have transitions. You had like Vinod Khanna, who was a villain at the start, and he became yeah. a hero. Even Shatrugan Sinha, yeah. right? They did yeah. that. But Amitabh yeah. was a hero. Like, he was the main guy. And coming out and being such an unlikable character. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, he's sleeping with women. He's like doing whatever he wants to do. He's just like a straight up criminal. He's shooting people left and right. And that must have been quite shocking. And just to, to, hmm? that, can we talk about his scene yes. with Helen? Because I, that was another thing I had. Obviously, I know the song, but I'd kind of forgotten the dialogue yes. around it. Yes. And yeah. the fact that he is sleep clearly sleeping with women 
and is an ass about yeah. it. <laughs> like it's not even like this is the criminal's the criminal has a yeah. girlfriend, which which he does, but like she's not even hit her. Like but it's it's shocking. It's, it's uh, <laughs> it made me think about sexual morality and how yeah. how things change so quickly because Helen clearly like they're sleeping together. But she's he's also blaming her, like, you know, like he's gaslighting her, like what kind of woman would sleep with me within four hours? But he does yes. choose to sleep with her. But then she also has to call her auntie to let her know that she's going to be late. Like, yes. what is going on here? You know, <laughs> And just, yeah, the utter, I, the utter disdain he has for her, but not enough not to sleep with her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's why I'm saying Andrew Tatian, you know, like. <laughs> yeah, no, we all know. Yeah. We've met this guy. <laughs> and it's also funny, like, Sujo, you were saying, like, no animals were harmed in this uh, movie, right? But I think some American dolls got mutilated because those contact lenses that Helen is wearing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> they look so uncomfortable. Like it's that so bad. That is a choice, right? That is a choice. Yeah. Because clearly it must yeah. have been some one of those American dolls in the 70s because the eyes went to Helen and the hair went to Pran. Because that's... <laughs> 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 we are definitely making a reel out of that quote. <laughs> uh, that hair is ridiculous. I, uh, I oh my god! Yeah, yeah. No. and like uh, I said on I said on Twitter while I was watching, has any ever actor ever worn more terrible wigs with more dignity mm. than Prawn? And the answer is no. <laughs> he can wear. He will wear like a spool of yarn on his head uh-huh. as hair and he but still I, is committing fully but did he believe he was pulling it off or did we like the audience then just believe that this is hair like what is it like, like this is peak makeup and hair yeah i wonder yeah. i wonder yeah. but for the gen z people who have like probably not listened to the original ye mera dil the intro of this track huh. was sampled for the black eyed peas song and it's impossible to not think of the don't funk with my heart song when ye mera dil starts playing yeah <laughs> but we, i also wanted to talk about like because we were talking about us uh, helen right mm-hmm. um and beth mm-hmm. i wanted to ask you this you know like how sexuality changes right like how yeah. in the 70s this was the peak of sexuality right like what helen is doing the clothes she's wearing like she is like the top yeah probably and it's funny because like it kind of probably looks dorky to us now like p- younger kids now um and it's it's weird because like obviously we grew up uh, maybe you know our sexuality was like you know 15 20 years ago that was when we were at our peak and you know Pamela Anderson at that time was kind of the peak. And now she's like kind of a joke, right? It's just funny how things that people get obsessed about that are like, wow, this is the peak of what we uh, like or we find attractive gets dated so quickly, right? Yeah. And this this one has the extra twist of um, Helen being a Helen item girl, but also she's a good Mm -hmm. girl because... She's in disguise in this. And so she's beginning to blur that line between what a heroine and a vamp can Mm. do that eventually I would, I mean, I'm not a scholar of this. I'm a fan, but I would guess that within the next five to 10 years, it really is collapsing into one because Parveen Bubby and Zina Daman kind of get to do, get to be the heroine, but also be super sexy. So it, it collapses. And Helen has, as much as she's key to a lot of, (laughs) <laughs> how we think about women's sexuality in Hindi films, she's got to be part of that too, I'm sure. And the idea, it, it's also, I, 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 I think you hit the nail on the head because it's that the idea of the vamp and the heroine, there's always the difference because technically Roma and Helen have the same goal, right? They want to take revenge for Ramesh who yeah. dies, but who ends up sleeping with Dawn to get that revenge is the vamp. Roma never sleeps yeah. with dawn right like yeah. it's just like a chaste love nope. story and the love story only starts when she realizes he's not dawn he's actually vijay that's when she just immediately tells him she loves him um so right. that's kind of like we are on that precipice where things are moving because i remember really well in divar like amita was also yeah. sleeping with women and that was the love story right because he was the bad guy there right yeah so things are shifting but we're not there yet but she she dies yeah right? yeah yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yes, but so Roma does yeah, not die. Uh, uh, uh. And also, Roma, let's talk about, about her, right? Like, this is a pretty badass yeah. role for her, her too. Yeah, to get to see a woman 
um, train yeah. to do judo and karate. And can I, I have to note that the guy who plays the karate instructor here also plays the karate instructor in the terrible but wonderful Mithun film called yeah, Karate. Yeah. <laughs> I saw him. I was like, oh, it's the same guy doing the same thing. I was, I was so yeah. Maybe there was just one guy. Um, you know, maybe they just had one guy. Maybe so. <laughs> and he yeah, trains he Ayan Mukherjee's father in that movie. Ayan Mukherjee's father? Yes. Yes, he does. <laughs> Who's Ayan Mukherjee's father? Uh, director Ayan Mukherjee. Death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Director Ayan Mukherjee's father. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, everyone take a look at my Mukherjee family tree. I can give <laughs> right. it to link in the podcast if you haven't, because these people are also all related. You can have a Mukherjee podcast, no problem. <laughs> um, yeah, good plug. <laughs> but, yeah, so like she she trains, she instantly becomes <clears throat> instantly becomes an expert, yeah. of course. <laughs> um, she's she wears a lot of wigs also more successfully than prawn, I would say. But um and she kind of there's a lot of scenes where she's kind of just trailing after Don, Vijay Don, whatever, whichever version of him. But it doesn't matter because she's still there kind of getting into it. And like in Kai Kei Pa and how she, she at first, she's kind of grumpy, like, hurry up. We're supposed to be running from the police. Yeah. And then she's like, all right, I'll yeah, dance let's have too. A dance. <laughs> <laughs> it's I'm so great. She's so, so great. fashionable she in that. Exactly. She looks so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, she just, everyone in this knows exactly what kind of film they're in and exactly how to do it. And I really yeah. appreciate that. Yeah. I, I I really I really I she every she looks so good in whatever like what's the I don't know fashion but is that yeah. a pencil dress or something like that like whatever it is it's it looks amazing she she looks amazing and having fun with in the Kaike Panorama so yeah yeah totally. um, I do have to say like it is funny also to see a movie of that era and I know Beth you live in the seventies for me I just visit sometimes but. You know that <laughs> right. the oh. analog world is kind of dorky. You know, <laughs> <laughs> there is something about this—the dorkiness of it. Like all of the secrets are in a little red book, and it has the names oh, yeah. and the telephone numbers. Oh my god, there it has the telephone numbers. <laughs> so, so, well, I think uh, this reminds me. I think I remember reading that this was. I think I remember reading that this was a very low yeah. budget film. And if you're saying the producer died partway yeah. through, maybe that's part of what's going going on this film looks cheap yeah but yeah. not you know sometimes that's distracting but for me maybe because this is where i live <laughs> like i don't find this distracting even though you hold it up to the other movies of 1978 or approximately there you can tell that it's cheaply yeah. made um because the sets are not very full and things like that but it doesn't it doesn't de- tracked for me because there's just so much happening that you can you can kind of make a note of like okay this is in a little book and there's only the one book and no one backs it up okay but <laughs> it doesn't matter because like it's time for another chase scene yeah. two so, seconds uh, later after they finish the last one <laughs> this reminds me of uh, a DuckTales episode where <laughs> there is a, like a, um, a, a map <laughs> that is stored in the museum and everybody's trying to steal it but then uh, Scrooge and like the museum goes down or everything and then Uncle Scrooge finds out that Goldie has drawn the map in crayon. (laughs) 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 Good memories. Uh, I also love the fake heel bit, you know, like when, uh, uh, was it, no, it's not Ramesh, but whoever Dawn kills at the first Uh sequence and he has a fake heel. And like, uh, I was just thinking like, how much information (laughs) can you put in a fake heel? (laughs) How, how small do you have to write? You know, (laughs) like it's just like, it has all of the secrets, you know. I just, but I some of those seventies boots are like big chunky <laughs> heels, man. <laughs> that is true. The, like you, you could probably put like at least like an encyclopedia and the heels and the collars. Just write it underneath the collars, you know. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have to remind you guys when Zenith Aman goes to train with the karate guy, he's like, um, Ye katila batan judo or karate ke liye nahi, and he tries to flirt with her and then she slaps him and he's like, Oh, you yes. passed in your first examination. <laughs> Yeah, and I think, haha! I wasn't really trying to sexually assault you. It was just yeah. a test. <laughs> yeah. Like that again, like the yeah. nerve of that in the script, and yet yeah. it's perfect. Yeah, and I also like that you know, like they have to like say all of the secrets on like a big ass telephone mm. you know like and like dawn is in the next room and you're like whispering yes dawn is in the bathroom bring out the police <laughs> 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 remember that 
seen in jaane bhi do yaro like how did people even like that's the thing that blows my mind like the 70s and the 80s were the peak of the spy era like pe- people were just dumb man like how can you even take a picture you need a flash <laughs> you know like in jaane bhi do yaro when he's like taking pictures from outside he's uh-huh. got this super loud camera with a big ass flash and people just don't <laughs> notice like what is going yeah. on here you know <laughs> yeah it's it, i just find it hilarious these kind of thing i just find it so dorky but It is a cheap movie Beth I do agree but I think that they did spend the money well where they needed to spend it you know agree. Like, yeah. totally agree that, that was yeah. the stunt the department the chases the stunts yeah yeah oh the stunt department shoof they earned their pay that and how that chase <laughs> at the end of the movie it is insane oh. like how well that is shot like the speed of it yeah uh, they even have a sequence where they're clearly driving a bike with a camera between cars to kind of give an idea of how yeah. don is driving like especially mm-hmm. it makes no sense because a, a, a car, ambassador car could never you know go in between cars but the effect it gives is so good <laughs> it's really really well done yeah. it's amazing yeah yeah and the, um, the And I love even just the simple thing of like when Don is and there's cuz the foot chases are also yes, really yeah. good in this and like he's going through the yeah. laundry and obviously lots of movies have done that but it's so effective. Yeah. And uh, my favorite favorite 70s Bollywood trope is the all encompassing escaping somersault. Whenever you're surrounded, uh-huh. you just do a somersault <laughs> and you're like three buildings up high and you're fine, you know, you just keep running, you yeah. know. And and it's shot in reverse <laughs> yeah. so that rewind it. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. The um, anti gravity boots. <laughs> yeah. But, But also, like uh the like the suspense of when Don finally gets into the car of Iftikhar, right? And yeah. then he's like, "Don't turn mm. around." Yeah. And then Iftikhar is trying to find yeah. out and figure out his next move, and then he makes that stunt of, you know, he makes that gamble of, you know, finding if he's dead or not. Yeah. What an amazing yeah. scene! Such a thrilling edge of the seat experience I had. The background score, man. Oh, so good. Oh, it's great. Do you either of you remember the first time you saw this or did you just grow up with it yeah. so much that you don't I, I, really I, I it's all a blur. Yeah. I don't yeah. know if I watched the whole movie it the first time, how many mm-hmm. times I've seen, where have I seen it or yeah, I it's all a blur. Like I've watched this all throughout my life. It feels like, you know, everything mm-hmm. everywhere all at once. <laughs> 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 they, they used to have these uh, they were called geet malas they were like video cassettes with just songs from mm. amitabh movies and oh, yeah. kaige banbanas wala was like the one that i would watch all the time and i think it was the song first then the video cassette with the dialogues yeah. and then the movie so it took me a while and i don't even know yeah. if i actually watched the entire movie because you're a kid you know you're just running around oh mm-hmm. i'm going to yeah. copy this part and copy that part um one thing i have to say like this like I've talked about my um, my uh, uncle that passed away, who was like a comedic genius. But in Ike Panvaras, he used to have this joke. <laughs> you you have all of the background actors, right? Like that are dancing with him. Mm-hmm. He would just like randomly yeah. say, like you know, the fat guy with the tummy, yeah. and he was like, oh, oh. He would say to my sister, oh, look, you're on screen, Vishra. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> and he would just keep doing it. There's another guy with like a, a mustache and like floppy hairs on the side. He would go, "Oh, you look like that guy. It's you on screen." And he would just not stop until somebody would cry. Like it was just like <laughs> it's, we were like yeah. eight or nine, or you know, like too small. But it just that <laughs> that memory was like kind of like etched in my brain. Like, oh yeah, this is this is how young I was and how. how uh, you know how how much fun this song was do you guys ever think when you watch iftikhar or um, ak hangal if these men were ever young like <laughs> they, yeah. were, they, were they just born old or were they ever young you yeah, that's the joke my friend uh, my like cousin <laughs> who also says like uh, raj kapoor was born old yeah yeah but but i should die yeah <laughs> yeah. mm. But iftikhar like him, him, and what's the other guy? Um, Jagdish Raj. Like obviously, Jagdish Raj holds the Guinness oh, yeah. Book of World Records for playing the maximum number of roles as a cop. Yeah. But these two are like born to be on-screen cops and nothing else. Like yeah. no other uniform fits them. Although he, 
So there is an amazing 70s film called Gadar with Vinod Khanna and then all, like seven or ten of these character actor guys who are all fantastic, including Ranjit, mm-hmm. um, Iftikhar and Pran and, and a whole bunch of them. And Iftikhar and Pran play like the the double, like the leaders of this gang of thieves that makes up mm-hmm. this movie. And they are so good together. They are so funny. They're not police officers in that film. They're actually criminals, but like same kind of same vibes in a way, right? They're the seniors um, leading this group of criminals. And if, if people haven't seen that film, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. It's really a film just for the character actors, which you almost never see them getting to do as much. And they really are the stars of the film. And it's so fun. It's like a, a heist. And then they're having to hide out in the mountains in the snow, um, and there's a traitor, you know, all that kind of stuff, as the as the title suggests. And it's so, so good. And I just kept thinking about that when I was watching this, because um, I love seeing those two together. They don't have much time together in this film. But they're, you know, again, like these people who know exactly what yeah. they're doing and are having fun doing it is such a joy to watch. But yeah, I mean, there's there's a lot of like, we can talk a little bit about the sp- supporting cast too, right? Like, um, you know, Iftikhar is in there. Um, we, we also have the guy that uh, Zabisco is in this, you know? Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Yusuf Khan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yusuf yeah. <laughs> gets gets his ass handed to him by Roma, like really badly, which was amazing. I, I like and MB that. Shetty as Shakal. Yeah. Shetty, we love him. We loved yeah. him. <laughs> yeah, he's... And he has a couple of great like yeah. eye rolls when I mean Amitab is taunting him. He's like <laughs> <laughs> Then you have the ever so um negative energy of the screen, you know, whenever he shows up, Satyan Kapu <laughs> as the inspector. Yeah. Who not get any hints. Yeah. No uh, that, spoilers. That, yeah, that that's why he's like the initial uh you know a disclaimer about uh all police names <laughs> are fictitious is about Satyan Kapoor. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you mean Anand Babu? Oh, is it Anand Babu? <laughs> no, I just call him Anand Babu Chole, you know? <laughs> oh, okay. From <laughs> yeah. I also love uh, Narang in this, you know, uh, yeah. played Kamal by Kamal Kapoor. Yeah, Kamal Kapoor. Kamal yeah. Kapoor. yeah. yeah, he's, yeah. he's great because he's basically the HR guy, right? Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> HR yeah. guy in a gangster. <laughs> yeah, he's the HR okay. guy. Yeah, he's like, he, yeah. he's in charge of recruit recruitment. He does Ramesh's security interview. He does Roma's recruitment. He tries to recruit Pran. <laughs> then he gives him a raise and then Pran joins in, you know. So good HR guy, you know, just generally. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, the main villain, Om Shif Puri. Yeah. I did not see that coming. Oh, so I good. did not see that coming when I first nope. saw, saw it. Yeah. I, I think it was a big yeah. shock for a lot of people, yeah. I imagine, right? Like, yeah, yeah. Because he usually plays That's one the, reason I was asking he you. usually plays the benevolent uncle always, right? Yeah. Yeah. And and he's like Interpol yeah. officer. That's one reason I was asking you if you'd remembered when you'd seen this mm-hmm. originally. Because I you know, I since I watched this as a full grown adult for the first time, I was like, Oh yeah. <laughs> it's such a good and we have I mean, we won't say much. I know you're gonna do the yes. Shahrukh version, but the fact that they were able to keep suspense and do something different with this film is a real hats off to those yeah. writers also. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. yeah, yeah. We're, we're explicitly not talking about the Shahrukh version because we will be doing right. a separate episode, but I think it definitely has a, a lot of talking points. I want to also give out a shout out to uh, Arpana Chaudhary, who was playing um, Anita. Yeah. I thought she was great in this. Uh she I also really love good. like she's she's very much committed to headgear. Like it's, like, it's, like, it's quite elaborate <laughs> thing she's wearing on her head, and it's quite cool. Like, uh, yeah. Um, she, I'm looking. I'm looking her up in IMDb because that's not a name that yes. I I I didn't remember her name whatsoever. She's in seventy some films, and I've clearly seen her in other things, but I can't. This is the only thing I think of when mm. I see her face. Yeah. Why is she credited to Molajat? I have no... Yeah, I'm seeing it too, and uh, but oh. I don't know which Molajad this even is. The, the Pakistani Molajad. I'm not sure. Huh. Interesting. Hmm. No, maybe not. This is a, yeah, this is one with Dara Singh in it. <laughs> oh, wow. Did they remake Ooh. Molajad in India? Like, wow. <gasps> Bob Christo is wow. in it. We have to watch. I have to watch this. I won't speak for you. I have to watch this. <laughs> well, okay. Yes. You have the on the poster. Bob Christo is trying to choke a woman with a gun in his hand, and is on his. He's wearing a Minneapolis T-shirt. <laughs> That's the poster of Mola Jet of this version of Mola Jet. Yeah. 
Oh wow! <laughs> never, literally, never heard of this. Okay, Rana Jung Bahadur. Yeah, there's Raza Murad. There's Tina Gai. Oh, Raza Murad. <laughs> All legends, man. Okay. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I see these names. I'm just like, yeah, I'm watching that as soon as I possibly can. <laughs> <laughs> but coming back to Dawn, I asked this on Twitter saying, which is your favorite um, song from the soundtrack? So like, I could only mm. l- list four. There's Ye Mera Dil, Kai Ke Paan Ban Rana Swala, Jiska Mujhe Tha Intazar, and the title track, Main Hu Dawn. Uh, what is your guys' uh, pick? First of all, before we get into that, can I just say that these songs have no subtext whatsoever all of them just straight up tell you what the character is trying to do like jiska mujhe tha intezar is the happiest i'm going to kill you song you know yeah. roma's not hiding anything in front of everybody and it's a bop uh, i mean there is no double meaning i don't know if you've, <laughs> if you've on twitter you've seen that little boy that sings i'm going to kill my mom i'm going to kill my dad <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> That's what this is basically. Roma is like I'm going to kill you Don. Like I just thought that was hilarious. Um yeah. <laughs> um yeah, Beth, what what is your favorite song? I'm guessing it's the Helen one. <laughs> I, no, it's not actually. If you'd asked me before I rewatched it, I would have said Kai yeah. Kai Pan. But then I this time it's it's the title mm. song. That's just so fun and watching Amitabh cut loose like it's not quite my name is Anthony Gonzalez but it's got that same energy to me and watching him kind of kind of prance around the room and he's got the tiger mask and like just it's so much fun and all the backing you know all the people in the room clapping along and dancing along you're like you can watch the women waiting their turn to do their little steps with him and like just but I also find it musically extremely catchy I was singing that to myself all day yesterday and as we know I do not really speak Hindi so it's a it's an extra treat to hear me sing these things but like I all day long i, I just it. kept thinking imagine if this was a real criminal organization like the head of the organization <laughs> is having a jig and everybody's really into it it's like yes don like shake a leg i'm like you know narang is happy mac is you happy know? you know <laughs> you know but like how did monica oh my darling open it has the organization having some kind of corporate party with a with an item number yeah. in it for yeah. reasons <laughs> It's we're still I doing mean, this. You know, <laughs> Alibaba's CEO Jack Ma is famously known to be dancing at his annual meetings with yeah. like I- item songs and everything. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay. What about you, Sujay? What was your favorite song? Kai ke banara, pan banara swala, man. Yeah. It's such an iconic, iconic yeah. song with a choreography is so iconic that you know people do this at every single dance reality show and try to do um you know justice to it mm-hmm. that's like yeah it's so iconic and ingrained with the bollywood pop culture mm-hmm. um yeah i mean not that ye mera dil is not but kai ke pan banara swala is just up there yeah i'm with, i'm with you because yeah. it just transcends just the song it's yeah. like a, you know a cultural moment uh, yeah. uh, it's it's yeah. The, also, the thing is with Amitabh, like what he did is like, I, I just don't think any other a- actor hero did this is that having that mix of comedy with the song or comedy with the action, like that fight sequence where Vijay finally finds like a gandasa and uh, uh, like a pole and he starts hitting people with it. Hmm. And he, he's like, oh, I'm, I used to be a wrestler in my old town. You know, that's a line he says. And it's just like as a kid. That was the success of Amitabh. Like having that comedy fight was like a staple for him. And I just loved it so much because it was never, you know, it was just not just violence. It was just funny and he would win. And it would, yeah, it's, I just yeah. love that. I love that. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, again, with Kai Ke Banana, so the other aspect of Amitabh having that comedy with the song, you know, the whole, yeah. like, also the yeah. supporting cast is like that guy with the big belly and he's shaking the belly on the beat is just such an amazing visual. Right? <laughs> it's, like, it's burnt in my mind. I love it. I the, I know a lot of times I'll just rewatch the song and watch everybody else except Amitabh, you know, like, it just that's how right. fun that song is, you know. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Any any other sequences or uh, things that you want to sh- call out, Beth? Anything else that we didn't cover that you want to talk about? I, th- I mean, there's no specific one simply because it's every single mm. one. Like I kept rewinding to rewatch things either because they were funny or because there was dialogue I had missed or because I was just <clears throat> so enchanted by how they did something in a chase mm. or, you know, there was a 
I love tracking all those seventies locations and like the, the hotel or all the hotels that they're mm. in or the rooms that they're in or just something amazing would happen and I would want to rewatch yeah. it. So it's, it, it's just this a fantastic collection of fantastic things. This wall to wall carpeting <laughs> like everywhere. <laughs> yeah. It is wall to wall. Fantastic yeah. to me. So do I any sequence or anything you want to call out? Uh, the final fight scene. It's ah, wild as fuck. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. Um, yeah. Because this is a time of no visual effects. Everything is in camera. And to do that, involving the actors that were involved in those scenes and, you know, fast zoom action to, you know, smoothly <laughs> transition from the stunt actors to the uh, the actual actors trying to kick ass with both Pran with his cane and Zina Taman, um, <laughs> stunt woman or man. I'm knows. definitely a man, man. That's yeah. not, not a woman. Definitely a man. Yeah, so yeah, many yeah, somersaults. Yeah. So it's many quite somersaults. Broad shouldered man, even. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, like that action scene, like I had to watch that twice. I was like, oh my God, I don't remember yeah. this to be this wild, you know? I, I thought it was actually the same wig uh, Shah Rukh is wearing in Pathan that Zina Taman is wearing. Like, it's hiding the body double with the same wig, you know. Like, I, I love it because the, the whole pacing of this movie is so quick. Like, it's such a fast-paced oh, yeah. movie. And the mm-hmm. final fight is just the crescendo of it, you know. Like, yeah. First of all, like mm-hmm. Pran's acrobatics. Like, why would a cemetery have parallel balls? I don't know, but it does. This one yeah. does. You know, he's yeah. just like all the right. villains are just coming in a line and he's just like drop kicking them one after the other. Like insane. And then <laughs> like every time they throw the red diary, like they add this soundtrack of a whistle. And yeah. they keep doing yeah. it for like the yeah. whole final slide this thing. Yeah. But also because it's the climax, before you had the car chases and all the actions, the music was thrilling because it's the it's the climax and it's the yeah. hero that is winning. Yeah. You hear a Shehnai version of Kai Ke Pan Banana. Kai Ke Pan. <laughs> and they're fighting. Yeah. <laughs> and also the way it's shot, because okay, there are lots of quick cuts, but there mm-hmm. are sequences where there are there are three fights happening at the same st- time and yeah, the yeah, camera yeah. Yes. goes from one fight to the other fight and it goes back and forth and then it, there's a cut quick cut right yeah, basically yeah, yeah. it's like Amir Khan when he was narrating the football match in Andaz Apna Apna with the <laughs> that's what that's how what the pacing of the sequence is like, oh my god we can't live insanity. without the we can't live without the Andaz Apna Apna has to be have to yeah. squeeze it in this some way yeah. <laughs> like it's it's insane and it's just like such a perfect end um yeah it, this movie is amazing and it goes by so quickly it's it's not a short movie right it yeah. takes its time but it goes yeah. it's just the pacing like every moment something is happening and it's yeah. pretty darn amazing uh by the I, way bringing back mola jet references this movie was remade in pakistan mm-hmm. with oh. sultan rahi oh dear and it was called Cobra. Oh. Cobra. But it was remade a lot of times, right? It was yeah, remade, yeah, yeah. remade as Billa. It was remade as... Uh, yeah. uh, Shobraj Dawn. in Malayalam and yeah. like um, Yugandhar uh, with NTR. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you seen any of those? Because I haven't and I want to. I want now. to watch Billa, but I haven't been able to. Yeah. And yeah. like uh, Helen plays Kamini in that uh, as well. Yeah. Why do oh, you nice. feel? Why do I also feel there's probably like somewhere a Nigerian version of this, like Nollywood version of Dog? Yeah, like, you know, sure. It's, so, it's <laughs> one of those stories that can be remade very easily and it has a lot of high concept, mm-hmm. but it is low budget in a way, right? So, um, yeah, uh, it's 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 one. It's really literally one of the perfect movies that still stands the test of time. Like I wish I could have seen this on a big mm-hmm. screen. You know, BFI, make it happen, please. You know, I'd oh. love to watch this. Yeah. Oh my god. Please do. <laughs> yeah, so I think we can wrap it up, right? Like, uh, I mean, I think we all agree this was an amazing watch. We had so much fun watching this, right? For sure. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Thank you yes. again, Beth, for picking this one. It was so much fun. Uh, oh, I'm so glad you wanted to watch yeah, it. Yeah, I, I don't think there was much discussion. We're done. Dawn, okay, let's do it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Beth, where can people find you online? Well, I'm Beth Loves Bali on Twitter, but please come uh, and check out the Filmy Ladies podcast if you haven't, which is YouTube slash uh, at Filmy Ladies or Twitter and Instagram Filmy Ladies. Are you well. also uploading it on iTunes or is it just YouTube at the moment? Yes, it's on iTunes and Spotify right. too. And would you prefer people leave a comment and a like on YouTube or a review on Apple TV? Oh, uh, yeah, we're trying to get comments onto YouTube because Pitu and I are both, um, as are you both, like from the blog yeah. generation and we miss the conversations that used to happen. So we're really hoping that um, 
we can try to get some conversations built up in the YouTube comments for now. So if you feel comfortable commenting there, please do. Pitu reads all of them. And we um, she's she's in charge of responding mostly because I do the, the tech stuff, quote unquote. Um, but yeah, please, please comment there. And we would love to see. Sounds you. good. Like I watch them uh, when I can. And they've always been great episodes. So check out the family ladies for sure. Um, Sujoy, where can people find you online? Uh, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram and TikTok at 93K. And uh, you can also check out the Khandan podcast on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at Khandan podcast. Great. I'm at Asim Bernie. Drop us an email at upodcasting at gmail.com. Leave us a review. Become a patron. Uh, support our work. Um, you can become a patron from $1 and get access to really cool extra content. So um, I know Beth is a donor too, right? I am a Patreon patron uh, because I d- there's just no other podcast like yours. And it every week, I just am so happy to spend that time with because I feel like I'm with yeah. you when you're talking about things, even if I haven't seen the film. Like, it's so much fun. Please, please, please uh, join the Patreon. Yeah, there's a lot of lovely discussions happening. Everybody's super lovely. It's a safe space. And uh, I think we sometimes we do longer stuff, sometimes we do shorter stuff, but it's it's really fun. I really appreciate everybody that is a Patreon and everybody that can be a Patreon. It's $1 and, you know, uh, it, it, it supports the everything that we get, we use to grow the podcast. So I think it's it's kind of a good goal. But yeah, this is it for this episode. Uh, thank you, Beth. Thank you for joining us. Uh, this was so much fun. And we'll be back next episode will be the, the Shah Rukh Khan version of Dawn. So it's going to be fun again. Thank you for listening. Hi, hi.